Hello children. Amu is back with her second story in the storytelling session. Today I will read out the story of The Mountain That Loved a Bird. The writer is Alice McLaren and the illustrations have been done by Stephen Atkin. Let's see what the story says. There was a huge bare rocky mountain on a desert plain and there was nothing around because it was a desert there was nothing around and all that the mountain could see was the sun crossing the sky during the day and the moon during the night. On clear nights, it could see the stars far away in the sky. But there were no plants, no birds, no animals, nothing that it could see. It could just look up at the sky and keep staring there. It had nothing else to see. One day, a small bird appeared on the mountain. It found a ledge, a small resting place to sit, rest and preen its feather. What is preen its feather? Clean its feather. And a ledge is a small flat place where you can sit or stand. Now the bird was resting on the ledge and the mountain was staring at it. It had never seen anything like that before. So it asked, who are you? What is your name? The bird replied, I am a bird and my name is Joy. I come from distant lands, far away lands where everything is green. Each spring, I fly high into the air looking for the best place to build my nest and lay eggs. As soon as I have rested, I must continue with my search. I have never seen anyone like you before. Can you please stay on? asked the mountain. Joy shook her head. No, birds are living things and we must eat food and drink water. There is nothing here. What should I eat? What should I drink? So I must leave this. If you cannot stay here, at least will you come again visiting me? Asked the mountain. So Joy was silent. And it said, I fly long distances and I have rested on many mountains, but no one has showed so much of care for me. They were not bothered whether I sat or went. Because you are showing so much of care for me, I will stay here for a few hours and every spring, I promise I will come to visit you. The mountain repeated again, I just wish you could stay on. The bird then said, there is one more thing I need to tell you. Mountains are permanent. You will be there forever. But birds do not live forever. They have a lifespan. I will not be there forever. So, I will not be able to visit you forever and ever. But it will be very sad for me when your visit stops, said the mountain again. Joy sat very still. And then it started singing a sweet, gentle song. The mountain had never heard such a song mesmerized it kept listening to it 
Joy finished the song and then said, Since you show so much of care for me, I promise I will visit you every spring. And I will name, I will give my name to one of my daughters and tell her how to reach you. My daughter in turn again will name one of her daughters, Joy, so that every spring you have a bird come visiting you and fly above you and sing to you. I still wish you would only stay, but I'm glad you will return. Thank you for your promise. Now I must go, said Joy. It's a long way to where I must reach, where I will find food. Saying this, it stretched its wings and flew away. And the mountain kept looking at it till it disappeared. Year after year, every spring, Joy would come here, would fly above the mountain, rest for a while, sing, and then fly away. Now, each year, the mountain looked forward for Joy to come because that was the only time someone visited it and it was harder and harder to let joy go. Ninety-nine such springs went away. And when the hundredth spring came and joy was about to leave, the mountain could not take it anymore and its heart broke and tears gushed out of its heart into a stream. It kept weeping, weeping and weeping. Joy flew away. The next spring where it came, it sat there and broke into a song. But the mountain was weeping as tear, tears of sorrow and could not even hear Joy sing. So Joy stayed for a while and then flew above the mountains and saying that I will return again next year, she flew away. One spring, Joy came flying with a tiny seed holding on its back. The mountain was still weeping tears of sorrow and Joy carefully put the tiny seed close to the stream of tears between the rocks. In some time, the seed germinated. It gave out roots and a shoot grew above the ground. Now the roots kept growing, growing, growing and wherever the roots were going, the cracks were being made into the mountain and the mountain wept more and more. The next spring, when the bird came, joy came it saw a tree and small small plants it had brought another seed it put it carefully between the rocks and sat there for a while then flew away very soon the seed germinated and there were plants there were flowers and miraculously the whole place was transformed into a beautiful place. The butterflies started coming, the insects started coming and 
the mountain could not even imagine what it had become. Now, seeing all this beautiful growth, the roots were going down, the, mo the mountain felt the roots as gentle fingers and it opened its eyes and looked around seeing the beautiful greenery all its sorrow faded away and it became joyful each year joy returned with a new seed and the seed would become a plant and then there was the green greenery all around and many birds started coming small small animals started coming now that the mountain no longer wept with sorrow it began to ask once more joy is there no way that you can stay and not go away and joy said i'm sorry I have to go. Years continued, years continued and the plants grew into trees. The fruits came up and there was greenery and beauty all, on, all around the mountain. From lands beyond the horizon, small animals started coming to the mountain. The trees stretched their branches higher and higher, trying to reach up to the sky. And one spring, sure enough, Joy came holding a small twig by its beak. And when the mountain said, My friend Joy, is it not possible that you stay and not go away? Joy said, yes, friend, I have come to stay. I will make my nest here and never go away anywhere from here. The mountain was overjoyed and overwhelmed with gratitude and said, thank you, Joy, for coming here and transforming me like this. I was so alone and lonely. I had never seen such beauty. You have shown me all of this, giving me company and shown me what is it to stay with everyone and others around. So children, this was the story of the mountain and joy. We all want to live with people around. Plants need soil, water, sunlight to grow. When they get it, they grow like anything and making the whole land green. And I hope you enjoyed the story. You are free to write your comments ask your mothers if you can message tell your friends about this channel ammu and you subscribe to it like it and come visit and hear stories at my zoom session every saturday as well till then stay safe be happy always love you